Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Saturday Fatter Day. We are here in Las Vegas at Taste. It's a Chinese restaurant that serves live seafood and they've got the tanks in the back of the restaurant. Uh, awesome Yelp reviews, beautiful pictures. So let's head inside and check this out. Here we are at Taste in Las Vegas. Now we've done, you know, Yelp reviews, looking at pictures of this place, and they have fresh seafood. Um, we came here specifically for the crab and lobster. Now, when we first came in, they told us they were out of lobster. Can you imagine that? Out yeah, of lobster. we were very yeah. disappointed. But they were very busy last night. We were night, lucky. So because they brought in a fresh delivery of lobster like, while we were sitting here. We had we, already ordered. Like, we saw the, yeah. the, the cooler walking in through the front door, actually. We're like, oh, man, after we ordered too much, as usual. Uh, and then they come out and they say, oh, here's the lobster. And the smallest one we have is like five pounds. Five like, pound lobster. Um, and now we, the three of us probably could have ate the five pound lobster and be, been good. Yeah. But today is Saturday, Saturday. So yeah, we this, decided to this, go deep on this. This is going to be rough. Yeah. It's going to be a big one. All right. But let's well, just get going. Let's get going. All right. Let's start with the soup dumpling because it's like appetizer, right? So yeah. appetize ourselves. All right. Soup dumpling. Soup dumpling. There you go. Uh, Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's good. It is a little chewier than I. It is. A little. It's a little yeah. chewy. Not as much soup as I expected. Yeah. But it's still good. It's harder to get out of the spoon. But it still tastes good. Mm -hmm. Nice appetizer. Great yeah. presentation. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah. I really like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're gonna jump in on our plates. And let's start with this this guy right here. This All is right. the French style filet mignon. Like it's so tender, and nice. Did you say what kind of seasonings on this? I didn't say. It just yeah. said French style. French so style. We so had let's to see try what it. French style. It's like. Right, um, oh my gosh. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Oh man. It just like melts in your mouth, and the flavors are so intense. Mm. What's the what's the flavor? Like meat. Oh. I can't even. What flavor do you flavor. feel? It's <laughs> French style. It's maybe mm. French Chinese style. It's good. I mean, just the the like, meat melting in your mouth. Yeah, it's just good stuff. It's not too much flavor anyway. It's mm. it's it's like I guess it look like like a very very light oyster sauce type texture, yep. but you don't really taste the oyster sauce. I mean, no way. Good. Ah, really easy. All right. Okay. Let's move on. All right. Next, we got what? Duck fried rice. Oh, duck. Because we so we saw a duck on the menu, and obviously, we duck. what do we do? Duck. We, got, we have to order a duck. There's duck fried rice. Because it's duck fried rice. Mm. Ah, yum. Mm. I like it. I like the little shaved pieces of duck in it. It's just little pieces of duck, so it doesn't, it's not yeah. really, you know, a, a duck entree it's, it's dish. A, it's our carbs. Yeah. But how do you make fried rice better? Add duck yeah, to it, duck right? to it. <laughs> yep, that's exactly right. Can't go wrong. All right. And the next one, well, we're in it. We also got duck noodles. So, it's they call it like e-noodle. Right. right? Duck, it was like duck, duck, duck e-noodle. E yeah. So, like, I guess this is e-noodle with is. duck, so. What's a e? I don't know. Egg noodle? Anyway, Maybe. we asked her. I don't know. We asked like her. Dinner. Dinner. Yeah. And she said, this is the long life noodles. Yeah. So, we're going to live a long life. Long life. Eating like this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. The texture is very nice. The flavor, the flavor is very nice. The noodle is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm. Excellent it's texture. a little, it's the same piece as a duck. Mm. But a little bit bigger, actually. Thicker, same, thicker pieces. Yeah, thicker I don't pieces know, the same, same yeah. duck. Yeah, you're right. It's the noodles different. are really good. If you different. prefer noodles over fried rice, yeah. definitely a great option. Definitely excellent noodles. E noodle. <laughs> <laughs> the duck is tender. Mm. All right. All right. Next closest one to me. This guy is the crispy pork shank. 
So it's actually on the bone. It's not like your normal cut up crispy skin roast pork. It's in longer pieces right off of the bone. Pull it off and they have that little sauce to put it in. I think it's like a sweet chili. Sweet chili or a sweet and sour. But let's figure it out. All right, all right. Mmm. 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 Mmm pork and taro root, which is the uh, braised pork belly with taro slices. Um, we know it as pork and yam, yeah. but yeah. it's like, it's got all the flavors. It's it's a typical traditional Chinese thing that we get in places and it's just something we always have to order whenever we see it because we see pork belly. There you go. We have a pork belly problem. Pork yeah. belly, pork belly, yam, yeah. and taro. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Mm. It's exactly how it's supposed to mm. taste. The yam texture that you get from the taro root. Mm. So soft and tender. The pork mm. is tender in nice chunks with that nice layer of fat on the top. And that yeah, the flavor. pork is just falling apart. Yeah, it's it's just, just, and the, mm. the taro is great. Mm. So mm. good. Always, always have to order it. Okay, so next up, the lobster. The fried yeah. harbor style lobster. They have like three different ways you can get lobster, but we wanted to go harbor because we didn't really know what it is. Yeah. It just sounded nice. Yeah. Yep. This is what we came here for. Yes. Right? So, <laughs> this is the yeah. thing that fate told us we needed to get it as it actually came through the door in a cooler. Yep. So, so here's what it is. For you guys. Five more pounds to go. Mmm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, it's wow. fried. It's worth it. It's, it's worth fried it. lobster, man. Oh, wow. With this nice seasoning. What's harbor seasoning? It's like a dried. Well, they got chilies and yeah. looks like jalapenos or, you know, anyways, it's got pepper. It's supposed to be spicy. It's not too bad. Great. Come on, Look at this. Mm. So good. So good. Guys, I'm not meat. I would come here. We're gonna yeah. eat the whole thing. We have to eat the shell. I just come come back here just for for the lobster. Man. Now I can see why they sell out of the lobster and they didn't have any. That's until the they, they yeah. said they did sell out last night, and then we're like, oh man. And then as we were waiting on our food to come, we just see that cooler come through, and we're like, hey, is that lobster? They said yes, yes. I'm like, yep. all right. Yep. So from the time it came off the truck uh, into the pot on our onto our table, mm. probably like 10, 15 minutes max. Yep. Yeah. So it's fresh oh as it gets. So tender. Okay, guys. Next up, the curry dungeness crab. Yeah. This was a have to try. It's messy. We know. It's messy. It, it also comes fingers with, all over. Yeah. It place. comes with bao, so that's cool. He dipped the bao in the curry too. Yep. You, dip, you got it. Got some. All right. This curry is, this is enough. This is another thing we came for. It. So here we go. Here's our seafood. Curry dungeon is Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Tender, tender, tender. Mm. That curry is nice. Oh, it's a very nice, nice curry. A little bit of kick on that. Yeah, it's like a subtle. Mm, it's a subtle curry. curry. It's like a subtle curry. It's, it's not, not a heavy curry. at all. And the crab is so tender. Oh, so good. Yeah, the sauce is great. Nice. And, you, and then you, you just take this, take the bow is so mm. soft. Mm. Yeah, it's super soft. Mm. Taste does it right. Yeah. Now we know why they're known for their seafood. Mm. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's seafood. You're not getting this cheap anywhere. No, but it's great. You know, that flavor is just amazing. So. You're in Vegas. Here in All Vegas. Right. All right. Mm. So this was probably our most expensive Saturday, Saturday to date. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well worth it. And Definitely. We well paid for it. this out of our own pockets. That's right. So we got nothing for free from this <laughs> restaurant. We're paying the full price. Uh, come check them out. They're in Las Vegas. Mm. Uh, top quality. Top quality. This is quality. Yeah. This is quality Chinese food at its finest. Yep. But it's still not even like as expensive as like a, a one on the strip would be. Yeah, but way more worth it, guys. 
for real. Anyhow, you know, remember to you know check out SaturdayFatterday.com for our merch. Uh, like and subscribe. Smash, smash that like button. Um, we'll see you next Saturday, yeah. Saturday. All right, see you guys. So we have to get our uh, Boba Fix and we are here at Seven Leaves. I'm very familiar with Seven Leaves now. Thanks, Vu. Uh, it's coming to Arizona soon, so we just have to test it out in Vegas before we go. So let's see how this is.